All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Bully. And I just want to say again that I am sorry that last week's episode uh, wasn't aired. We were just taking precaution because my dad just went through a big surgery. And, um, yeah, his immune system is shot, so it was kind of hard for Ella to come over, especially because I didn't know what we can and cannot do. Um, and without me, there's no show. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm joined again in the same room with the one, the beautiful, Ella. Thank you, thank you. Does anyone want to remind me what we were doing last time? Because we're, I hate we're to say... We were in Chapter 3. But what is Chapter 3? What was it called? It's, it's Christmas. Just, yeah, it's Christmas, but yeah, Chapter chapter 3. We're not going to school. Okay, but like... I'm going to be honest with you guys. Actually, yeah, let's go to class. I haven't watched the last episode in a long time, and I don't remember what we were doing. Yeah, because we recorded it, and then we didn't record anything for like a month. Yeah. And then um, when we were supposed to record it is when my dad had a surgery. Yep. What is this? What class is because this? Because I'm so disgusting, I wasn't allowed on the premises for a while. It was a whole it's thing. Not, it's not <laughs> that you're disgusting. I just carry germs wherever I go. I'm like a preschooler. <laughs> no. Is this the one where you're just button? Yep. It's Guitar the Hero. easy one. Bubba. Why? Oh, for anyone listening, um, just because I feel like talking, Tyler doesn't care. But, so I've been watching Teen Mom 2 <laughs> with my friend. And it's crazy. And it's infuriating, but I can't stop because I just, I've started. Okay. Like... What, what's going on in it? Okay, so we'll start with Janelle, and um, she actually has a YouTube channel now, so like, hopefully she doesn't watch this and come for me, but she like argues with her mom all the time, because she's like, my mom doesn't trust me, all I did was sneak out and, and get arrested, and my boyfriend did cocaine, and then she moves back home, and she's like, yeah mom, I broke up with him, and blah blah blah, but really she snuck out and bailed him out, and blah blah blah, and then he ended up hurting her again and again, and it was this constant cycle, she's always like, mom, let me move back home, and I get my life back together, and the mom's not that great either, but she, the mom will kick her out every two seconds, and then let her come back, and then kick her out, and it's just a mess. That sounds brutal. It's so bad. I feel bad for the baby. And um, it's just so annoying because, like, you want to give her a chance because her mom never tells her that she loves her. So, of course, you're going to stay with the one dude who's ever showed love to you in your entire life. But, like, she's also not really giving her mom any reason to try to be nice. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a mess. And it's just a constant emotional roller coaster, and yet I keep watching. And then I got a free trial for Paramount TV because they have every season. There's like eight seasons, and I just started season two. Isn't didn't that show like when was that show first aired? Okay, well you you could tell it was the early, maybe not the early two thousands. Probably like when we were in like sixth or seventh grade because the hairstyles the fashion the Uh, ugg boots the chunky highlights and chelsea's hair the sunglass oh it's all the fashion is probably what keeps me coming back it's so bad and the dude there's like this one dude Corey, who's actually a really sweet guy but he's like very much a redneck and he does he never puts his hat on his head he just sets it on top and that's just how he wears his hat. And I'm just impressed it doesn't fall off. Yeah. Hey, it's Santa. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, is that our friend no. dressed as Santa? Or yeah, is that a different so. drunk? I think it's a different drunk. Is he drinking Jaeger? I, yeah, I think it's a different drunk. Uh, oh, it's like bad, it's like bad Santa. Uh, I thought you were going to say, like, the, who's the dad on um, Shameless? Oh, Frank? Yeah, it looks. Yeah, it seems like a job Frank would have. Maybe, I guess. I could see him being a drunk Santa. Um. But yeah. Anyway. So. This has become a Teen Mom 2 podcast. Oh. And. Yeah. Is Bully just like something so people can just watch? I don't know. But really listen to you talk I about Teen Mom. I guess I should pay attention to the game. But um, I just have so a lot of thoughts about... I'm assuming that we just have to protect this guy. Why? 
from kids throwing snowballs at him. Well, he's not. Okay, listen. We can't help everybody we come across. But this is exhausting. He's a drunk Santa. <laughs> and an adult. He can deal with his own problems. What are we doing? Yeah, but his self esteem. We're children. <laughs> Why do I have to help this old man get his life together and be um, okay? Um to stay holly jolly? I don't know. To be on Santa's nice. Now list? he's talking weird about the reindeer, and I don't know what kind of relationship he had with them. <laughs> he just, I miss Prancer and I miss Rudolph, and I'm a little uncomfortable. Um, but yeah. So real quick, I also want to say, um, Am I so in trouble? no. He <laughs> got kind of serious. No, I was going to talk about my dad. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So, my dad recently had a kidney, um... Transplant? Yeah, sorry. It was just weird. This, this, is, this thing. Not the transplant. The, the transplant went very well. <laughs> the, the transplant went extremely well. And, like, he was in the, um, ICU for, like, what, like, two days? Yeah, not even. He got out way quicker than they expected. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I think my theory, in less seriousness, is that your family has to be a part of some kind of mob because... But don't talk about it here. I'm just saying. It's a theory. Um, <laughs> no, but he also, in the process of getting a kidney transplant, also got a pancreas transplant, too. Um... In which now, and if people didn't know, my whole family, me, my brother, my sister, and my dad uh, are all diabetics. But now that my dad has his pancreas transplant um, and kidney transplant, he's no longer uh, type 1 diabetic. Which is, it's mind-boggling. Because, like, I'm seeing him eat things that would normally, like... Fruit, ice cream, yeah, apple like, pie. Like... One of the biggest things that tripped me up is I saw him sitting there eating grapes. And usually, I mean, if you're type 1 diabetic, you know this, that like there's like one carb per grape. So you eat like 50, you're eating 50 carbs. And it raises the hell out of your blood sugar. My dad, end well. my dad ate about like maybe 25, 30 of them. <laughs> and his blood sugar stayed like 99. Which is like, it's just mind boggling and hard to get around of. And my dad's also been type 1 diabetic for like 30 years now. And it's like from our point of view, because I know from his point of view, obviously he's going through it all. It's really hard. But from our point of view, it's kind of like we blinked and all of a sudden he wasn't diabetic anymore. Yeah. And it's just over. And, and it all was just like so like I feel like I'm in like a twilight <laughs> when the whole thing happened because like I was like I got up ready for work and then my mom and my dad were up and they explained to me what was happening and then um yeah you don't get a lot of notice it's like yeah. when it's ready it's ready and you gotta go exactly and um when when my mom i'm like told my mom i'm like you know just keep me in the loop and then she told me around like 10 to 30 in the morning i was at work and um the, she told me and like i stopped what i was doing like broke down started crying and um my coworker looks at me and he goes, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> and I'm like, My dad got a, or my dad's, or they came, it came back and it said that it was a perfect match. So that they're on the way to the hospital. And like, he's like, Oh my God. And everyone thought like I was going to leave right then I and told there. told him to come over. <laughs> but the thing is, don't blame me. In, in the times that we're in right now with the whole COVID and everything, like I wouldn't have been able to see him anyway. Yeah. So yeah. what I did instead was take, I took the, um, I took that next day off, which was that Friday, and then um, we went through. What are we playing? Consumo. I'm sorry, I got. I got me thinking of consume, which is like the soup that you know the. Bi I, I'm white. <laughs> Berea tacos. You know those ones that you dip in the soup. The soup is consume. Yeah. And it's fucking. Do delicious. I just eat the food? I guess. 
Wow, no. that's kind of insulting towards actual sumo wrestlers. Oh yeah, this whole game is insulting. I'd much rather play a consume game. Um with food. But yeah, so I got the news and then I like took the next day off of work to go and um you know, just in case my family ever needed anything or anything like that, I could and bring it to Because how do you sleep that night and all that? Like, how are you going to go to work after, like, all that, that was emotional the funny thing. roller coaster? I, I was such an emo- emotional roller coaster that I slept perfectly. Really? Yes. I'm impressed. I can't like, sleep. I, I, fell as- I think I fell asleep at, like, 7 that night because I was just so beat <laughs> from, um... Crying is exhausting. It is. That's why I try not to. And that's why you try not to? Yeah, because it just makes me tired. (laughs) 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 No, um... But, and then on on other turn of events... So there was two things that were were supposed to happen that Thursday. It was either my dad... Um... Going to the hospital to get a new pancreas and kidney. Or we were putting my dog Zoe down. Oh, yeah. And... Ella puts it perfectly. She called in a trump card from the mafia. <laughs> to be so, able to, because So it was like, okay, if we get someone taken out and we get these organs ready, then I can live another day. Yeah. And I I don't put that beyond Zoe, you know? I don't I don't either. But um needless to say, um that was another thing that happened this past week. Um me and my mom went to the pet been, the pet clinic to um put her down because she she was miserable or like she you can tell that she was old miserable and she was in pain she probably had like arthritis or something she had a good long life yeah full of trouble and chaos and oh yeah and she caused chaos everywhere she went she <laughs> i mean despite her being what my mom puts it she was a very naughty dog um she was actually a really good, chill dog. Never had any, like, problems with, like, other animals. Or with, like, kids or anything. She just didn't want to be bothered. Yeah. Unless there was food involved. Exactly. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, game over. Got the 246 pounds. Weak. Damn. That was weak. Wow. Beat fate. You have to... Okay. Oh, my God. We're going to be here for hours. Okay. You guys are 200 Wait, do I have something. to? Yeah. Oh my god, this is... What do I... There has to be, like, an easier way to do this. Um... A healthy food increases health, lowers health, bounces you around. So you just have to get fish, apples, and rice? Yes. And it just takes a million years? I... I, I guess. Okay, um... What do we should we play a game or something while we wait? Um, <laughs> I, I am playing a game. The alphabet game. Okay, but like, what about me? <laughs> I just gotta sit here and watch this. I guess, but um, well, all I want to say is like, I mean, in all honesty, t- <laughs> be careful and make sure you guys take care of your take care kidneys. of yourself, take care of everyone around you. If you see something that's not all right with you i mean depending on how you know the person just keep the people that you want to keep safe i mean i mean obviously you know don't hurt yourself in the process of it god damn it that sumo just knocked me into some spoiled fish you need to focus we Um, are never gonna get to a thousand and ten pounds but this game seems easy enough. It's just, I feel like, like, oh. for me... Oh, okay. So the more food, the, like, they big get bigger? food... Yeah, like, or look at the top. You see where that red bar? Uh-huh. Watch whenever I eat something. So if you eat a lot in a row, do you get a higher score or something? Maybe. Okay, we'll but, like, as soon as I expand it all the way, it, like, gives me, like, a huge weight increase. Okay. Just be careful, because normally in a game like this, I get bored halfway through, and then I lose focus. Oh, yeah. I mean, this whole entire episode might just be just doing this. Oh, my goodness. I never... I don't think I've ever... Ah, shit. And why? Like, I don't... No! 
Okay, wait, we have two more lives. <laughs> Don't eat the puffer fish. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. See, look at number 300 and. Uh, There's just so much. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There's a lot going on. But yeah, that's the whole reason why um, we didn't record last week is just because with my dad's immune system not literally being non existent, um, we didn't want to chance it. It's not because I'm lazy. No, she's not lazy. She was actually asking if we were going to do it. <laughs> she. I'm pretty sure she enjoys this. I've also never really been consistent with anything in my entire life, and I was so proud of our consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can we do it over Discord? But, I mean, it wasn't the same as, like, doing it in person. Yeah. I, I get that. Um, why is everything getting so much smaller? Because... Is it because I'm getting fatter? <laughs> Is that the whole mind manipulation no thing here? No comment. Something that my dad always told me about relationships is you never comment on fatness. No. Uh. Fake or not. Is this like Pac-Man where if you go through the left side, you'll pop out the right side? No. Oh. Z watch. No, don't risk it, please. Oh, no. I just tried. What the hell? <gasps> what? Okay, don't. Let's not play games. Okay. I hate Halfway playing games there. inside of games. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm stressed. Oh my god. We're at 580. Yeah, that's halfway. This is some big ass We are never gonna get out of here. I made it on the... Okay, that's cute, but we have to beat the high score. Can we leave and do another mission? But now we started it, so it feels like we kind of have to finish. Can I try? <gasps> try. Um. You could cut out my. Attack. Yeah, we're gonna do we're we're gonna do something else next time on Sinistry Plays. You're not gonna let me try to win. No, no, no. Maybe next episode. Okay. Okay. All right. You Make sure to like, to get me subscribe, to and comment your favorite part down below. I don't know what Ella just mumbled, but um. You'll hear yeah, it we'll when you edit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.